Thanks for tuning in and welcome to the brush. It's April 20th here in Michigan, opening day spring turkey season. Didn't have any roosted last night, but we made it to this spot where we've heard them this season scouting. So we're gonna head in there, see if we can get on these birds. You guys stay tuned. gobbler in tow with her so we gave it another hour after that happened and we haven't heard him gobble so we're gonna pick up and try to move around him and make a few calls and see if a different angle can get him fired up so you guys stay tuned i do see him a lot i see him see him on the camera brett little cedar bush and there's that dark blob that looks like a turkey just down to the left of it yeah He's to the left of that cedar oh, bush. I see him. Moving. Let's go. He's got a couple of a couple other turkeys by it. All right, well, we just made it back by this lake, and we can see a hen and a few gobblers on the other side of this lake. So we're going to circle around this way and get up next to the wood line to have some cover and try to work up towards them, see if we can call them in. Yes, they do. Just try to stalk them, to be honest. Hey, we're pretty close to them. That's that's the finger of woods. I think we're really close. I have a cedar tree or something. Alright, so we spotted those turkeys from across the lake. And if they stayed in the same spot, they should be just over this finger of woods right here. Not very far. So I'm going to drop my pack right here. And me and Justin are going to stalk right up to the edge of that. And see if they're in range just over the top. And maybe get a shot from that. If not, we'll try to call them over once we get up there.
down, dude. Let's go. There's like four more gobblers. He's trying to fight me. <laughs> you getting that footage? Yeah. Got him, dude. Go! Wow. That's like, wow, dude. My legs hurt so bad. Dude, my arm. Oh, I. Th it was about to fall off. Yeah, I know. Oh my. Oh, look at the hooks, dude. Wow. He had a nice beard too. Dang. Oh. Oh, stinking way. Like, dude, that was such ooh. a good stock, dude. That's like. I could have shot another one so easy. They were just overlapped. Yeah. Like you would have doubled. Even after I shot this one, they were they were fighting them. Were you getting that? Yeah, I got that. And this is why they didn't want to come any closer. Look how open this is right here. Yeah. Dude, because this is where they were chilling. Let's go. Dude. What, what? Dude, so we saw these birds in this field right here, stocked up through this, through the edge of that field, like I said, I can still hear these turkeys right here. Stocked up to the edge of that field, and I, d I didn't know if they were in the field or in the woods, so we just hopped in the woods just a hair because there was walkers walking around that lake. We figured they'd bump them in the woods. Which they did, and yeah. These turkeys were in front of us for like a half hour. Oh yeah. Like. The, right when they first came through, there was a chance I could have got one, but they were like 50 yards and then they passed through again and they were probably just outside of 50 and it was kind of brushy. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I didn't take a shot. I didn't, they didn't really give me a good chance, yeah, but I'm isn't... really glad I didn't because two minutes later, the hens came right in front of us. Yeah, they were what, 10, 15 yards from us, and then, the hens? Were you on them when I shot? Yeah. Really? Let's I go. Don't, I don't know Dude. how I could fit in there, but... When we crawled up, we crawled into their range. They were just chilling was, here the whole crawling. time. I said, oh, I want to get to that and maybe call. I'm crawling, and I peek up, and there's a, a strutter at like 60 yards right there. Jesus. I'm like, oh, God, don't move. And then me and Justin were literally motionless for like 40 minutes. Just frozen in the position yeah, that Justin, we were crawling. Justin was literally just laying on the ground like this. Just laying on the not ground, even by his arms up. Well, looking back, I was actually in good cover. You were way better than me. Yeah. Shot him full strut too. I didn't want to like call and make him weary because there was there was like 15 turkeys within 30 yards oh, of us. Those couple hens were very close. 15 I know, those yards, hens 10 were like yards. 10 yards right here in the open, but I was like, this is my opportunity. So I was just like slowly raising. But, well, as you can, you can hear the story and see what happened there. A couple of his tear feathers got ripped off i think by the other gobblers attacking him after we shot and justin was actually getting that on footage that's pretty sweet but like we said we spotted him from across the lake and we made a stock up in here and just got close enough man just got close enough didn't call once and they meandered around just enough and got within range there's probably three or four different opportunities where i could have thrown a shot just real quick but they weren't stopped they were moving through tiny openings and I figured if we haven't spooked them, the hens are way closer, so they should come to the hens, which are closer to us. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, they circled back around and came right in. If you made it this far, make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button for us. We'd really appreciate it. Opening morning time here in Michigan. Thanks for watching. See you guys next.